had two major chapters. He was, he was a pioneer twice. He was a pioneer of rock and roll from when it started and it was the rock and roll sleeper cell. He basically took you know, the rebel art form and managed to smuggle it into American television sets through a family TV show. I mean, the world stopped and watched Ricky sing a song at the end of this TV show. And it was real rock and roll. It wasn't watered down and kind of like milk toasted. You know, he had a real rock and, rockabilly band and stuff. And then he, of course, sold a, a kajillion records. It was neck and neck with Elvis. And when Elvis went to the army, he was the guy. And then when everything changed in the 60s, you know, with the Beatles, Dylan, all that stuff, the kids were listening to something different. He went away for a second and came back and reinvented himself at the very, very beginning there with the, uh, the whole country rock thing that came out of Southern California. So if, if I were to tell anybody, this is what you should listen for, you know, listen to the early stuff, listen to Hello Mary Lou, Traveling Man, Believe What You Say, I Got a Feeling, uh, Lonesome Town. And there's so many of those hits, but those are the, the biggies, I think. Um, and then I would go and, and check out Rick Nelson and the Stone Canyon Band. I would listen to the whole Live at the Troubadour record. And because um, he plays some of that great Dylan stuff and he has that new sound with his band. And absolutely listen to songs like Garden Party and Legacy and um, things like that. But Garden Party, you could see the, the development of him going from uh, being a rock and roll punk kid, rockabilly guy, to a, a songwriter and a man. You could really see the growth in that. 10 years of kind of like, you know, the Beatles did it when they started with I Want to Hold Your Hand and then, you know, seven years later or six years later they're at Sgt. Pepper's. You know, it's amazing to see how people can grow through music that way and he, he did it in front of people's eyes, mostly on television, one of, probably one of the more important visual artists of all time.